Welcome to the MLDB Notebook Interface. This quick little video will give you all you need to know to be able to, to uh, run the tutorials and demos. So as a quick primer to the Notebook Interface, you can click on New and choose Python 2. What's going to load here is the main Notebook Interface. You'll see that the Notebook Interface is comprised of these little boxes called cells, into which I can type Python code. Uh, I can run the cell by hitting the little play button here, I, and it creates a new cell automatically. I can uh, also run a cell by hitting Shift Enter. Cells have types, and you'll see here that the type of the cell is a code cell. If I switch it to a markdown cell, I can type markdown. So, for example, this is a header, this is a paragraph, uh, and hitting Shift Enter will actually render it. These are the absolute basics for uh, for using notebooks. You can uh, save a notebook to the local file system. Here it's called Untitled. I'm going to call it First Notebook. Uh, and you can also download a notebook to your local hard drive by hitting Download As and choosing IPython Notebook. So you can use it uh, in any other notebook interface or uh, upload it back to a different MLDB session. So that's it for the, the absolute basics for notebooks. Let's go back to the main MLDB interface and you'll see that first of all your notebook is here. You can upload an old notebook here. Uh, and you can see the built-in notebooks that come with MLDB, so tutorials and demos. Let's check out some tutorials. So tutorials are versioned. We'll click on the latest ones. Uh, and you see there's uh, tutorials on loading data, executing procedures and functions, querying data, MLDB select uh, query tutorial. But let's take a look at PyMLDB tutorial, which is the, the tutorial for uh, the MLDB Python library. And you'll see this is basically just text and code. And so you can kind of step through it by hitting the play button or by hitting shift enter. And you can see that uh, it, it walks you through some code, some output, there's a little bit of an explanation. And in fact, you can modify the code. You can go back and modify the code and see how the output changes by hitting shift enter. So this is basically all you need to know to get started. I encourage you to go back to the tutorials and demos, uh, walk through them, modify them, and uh, please don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any questions about MLDB. Thank you.